For this next lesson, I've opened up a new session of Mastercam, and I want to talk about customizing the Mastercam interface. Now, one of the easiest ways is to just come up here to the toolbar, right-click, and say Customize. Now, you can also go to Load Space, and there's a bunch of different configurations that are already here. You can select one of these, and it'll change the way all of these toolbars are arranged. All I want to do is add a new toolbar here that has just the things that I want. So I'm going to right click and say customize. So we are on the toolbar tab. In this window we can see all the different toolbars that are available and the checkbox tells us which ones are currently visible. Over on this side we have a list of functions in Mastercam and those functions are organized by their group. So these are all 2D toolpath functions that we can see here. I can switch that to drafting functions, geometry functions, any area or any category that's in Mastercam. So for now I'm just going to switch that back to 2D toolpaths. So like I said, we want to create a brand new toolbar that we can use with our own custom functions on it. So I'm going to come down here into this window for toolbars. I'm going to right click my mouse and I'm going to tell it I want to create a new toolbar. So two things happened. One is it created new toolbar and it also opened this. That's my new toolbar. Doesn't have anything in it. So I'm going to click back here on new toolbar. I'm going to right click and I'm going to tell it I want to rename this toolbar. And I'm going to say TFM Custom 1. Now the way this works is you can take any function from this side and add it to this side. It'll go into whichever toolbar you have selected. So if I had Graphics Views selected and I hit Add, it would add Drill to the Graphics View toolbar. So I'm going to click on my TFM Custom 1 toolbar and I want to have just the common things that I need. So I've got drilling toolpath. I'm going to say add that. There's really only a handful of toolpaths that I need for everyday job shop work. The other one I might use would be contour, just a simple contour toolpath. Now the thing is if I pick a contour toolpath I can always reselect inside the operation to pick pocket or face. So I don't have to have these because these are already inside of this. The other one I might use is the dynamic milling toolpath. We'll add that. Now I thought about adding dynamic contour, but you know I can pick dynamic mill, I can pick my boundary, and then I can just go change it to a dynamic contour. So I don't really need to have both of those on this toolbar. The other toolpath I like to use is the helix bore. I'm going to add that. Now once they're in here, you can put them in any order you want. You could put drilling underneath dynamic toolpath, so you have contour, 2D dynamic, drill, and helix bore. Or you could move helix bore up. So you could put these in any order you want. Now those aren't the only things that I use a lot. I also do a lot of analyzing. So I'm going to say analyze and I'm going to say Analyze Entity Properties, and I'm going to add that. So it puts it right there. I'm going to click on Analyze Entity here. I'm going to right click and say Insert a Separator. So now I'll have a little bar, a little vertical bar right there in between my two sets of icons. Now let me go back to my TFM Custom Toolbar, and I'm going to say Analyze Distance, because I use that a lot. And the other thing I do a lot is creating planes. So I'm going to go down to WCS and I'm going to add two functions here. One is going to be dynamic WCS because that's really handy. And then plane manager. And I'm going to come up here to dynamic WCS and I'm going to right click and say insert separator. So I've got four toolpath, a separator, 
to analyze a separator and then I've got two work coordinate system plane functions. So at this point I could say apply or OK and there's my custom toolbar and I can grab that and drag it up here. Of course you can put it wherever you like. I'm going to drop it right there. So now I'm going to go to my machine type mill create a rectangle I can do my contour which of course I can change to a pocket or a facing or a slot milling I can grab my dynamic select the chain and of course I can go back into those parameters and tell it I want that to be a dynamic contour and that my previous tool was a three-quarter inch radius so now it just cleans out the corners so they're right there they're real handy here I have analyze entity or I could pick analyze distance create a plane or go to my plane manager